This is a brief outline of the equipment we'll be looking at. Mask. The mask is all about seeing. Without a mask, we won't be diving. Snorkel. I have been asked why we need a snorkel. And a snorkel is all about being able to see while you're on the surface. It's no good breathing with your head up and not knowing what you're going to be looking at. So we're on the surface, we're floating around, we're looking down, we're looking for game, we're looking for reef, things that we're going to uh, explore, areas that we're going to explore. And that's uh, why we have to have our snorkel so we can keep our head down. In freediving and spearfishing, we look at a very basic snorkel. We're going to look at a few choices of fins. Carbon, fiberglass, plastic, and we'll see what the difference is between a scuba fin and a freediving fin. Very basically, a scuba diver is like a Big Mac truck, where a freediver is like a sports car. Their fins are like first gear. Our fins are like fourth gear, and that's really the basic. Then we look at the pole spear or gun. Now, pole spears, to be very successful at pole spears, is tough. It's tough because you've got to get very close. There are some systems that you can use that will improve your catches. And then we're going to look at guns. And guns range from rail guns to roller guns, but we're going to keep it fairly basic. Why? Because as a new Spiro, you need to get the basics in before you start uh, reaching out and, and uh, taking up guns that are a bit more technical. The last thing you want to get into while you're in the water is being surrounded by line with a gun that's hard to string, that you're not used to, uh, with a current going and maybe some wind, and uh, you're going to feel pretty confused. And I wouldn't be surprised if people give up because of their failure to handle their equipment at this point in time. So at the beginning, we're going to keep it simple. We'll be looking at a float and float line. This is all about safety. Floats keep the boats off our backs, hopefully. With a float, a boat driver can see you. Without a float, you are nearly invisible. And this is one of our main things that we're looking at is keeping you guys safe. A float is essential for safe diving because it also allows your twin, your buddy, to know exactly where you are. You could be down 15 meters and the viz might be 10. There's no sign of you from the surface. If you didn't have a float and a float line, how was your buddy gonna know where you're gonna come up? You could swim behind him and come up entangled in something, uh, struggling, and you could black out. So your buddy needs to look after you. So he's gotta follow you. Float line going this way, that way, you'll come up right in front of him. That's why we need floats and float lines. We also can string our fish to the float. That's a helpful thing, keeps it away from your body. You don't want to carry fish on your body, especially not in Queensland waters. Another essential piece of equipment is the knife. We use the knife constantly to kill our game. In spearfishing, the life of the fish is short. There's no drowning in nets or on the end of a line. He gets speared, he comes up. If he's not dead yet, he gets dispatched with a knife straight to the brain. This is very humane. We use the knife for this all the time. It needs to be a dagger. We also use a knife to cut ourselves free of entanglement. There's a lot of fishing gear down there. And if you get entangled, you've got to have a knife to cut you free. If ever you're caught in a situation where you have to free a boat very fast, a large wave or a squall coming, a knife is important, you can cut the anchor wall. So we've got a lot of different things you need a knife for. You must have one, I carry two. Part of diving is definitely wetsuits. You can get away without a wetsuit in the tropics, where it's very warm. But even then, when you're in the water a long time and you're breath holding, your heart rate goes down, you'll still find you need some insulation. So we'll look at wetsuits, we'll look at uh, open cell and lined wetsuits, and we'll see what is most suitable for where we're diving. And finally, weights and weight belt. Getting the correct ballast is important. It's important to be comfortable in the water. It's important to be able to lie on the bottom, be able to attract fish. We'll go into this soon. But just having the right ballast so that we're also floating, particularly in the top 10 meters when we're coming up, because this is the area where more blackouts happen anywhere else. So we need to be floating in that area. You must work your ballast out for that. You need a good belt. If you're diving deep, you need a rubber belt. A 
and the sufficient weights to be able to balance your wetsuit and your body size. Thanks for watching guys. If you'd like to see more, we have loads of content on our YouTube channel, so be sure to check it out. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure to check out our stores. Or you can shop online at www.spearfishing.com.au.